In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate AI video and post it to YouTube, X and Instagram. I'm about to unlock the AI video content creation blueprint. Imagine generating endless video content without needing a camera, a script or even your voice. Get ready to transform your content creation strategy because in this video I'm breaking down every step. Let's dive in. All right, I'm going to be showing you how to generate a video like this and we're going to be using this automation. Now, what is special about this automation is that it is super easy to use. Anyone can use it, even if you've never used N8N, even if you've never used AI to generate video, you can use this automation. Now, I posted this video two days ago. It was developed using the automation I just showed you, and you can see it's performed exceptionally well. It's a 5.9 outlier. The point is, what I'm actually showing you, I've done this myself, and it works, and you can do it too. I've also posted it onto X, which I don't use a great deal. I've really just posted here to show in this automation how it works. And I've also posted it over into Instagram, all up. It's got about 2000 views so far. So before we create our first video, I just want to show you this one because the new one we're going to be doing is going to be very similar. And this one has a bit of a catchphrase in it that was very popular in Australia a couple of decades ago. If you were around in that time, you will definitely know it. You spent 10K on a TikTok video. Not happy, Jan. Yeah, so that's the video. Now I'm gonna take you through the process of creating this actual video or one very similar to it. The first step is we need our first frame. What I mean by that is we go over to Nano Banana in Google Gemini and we create an image that we want to start with. So for this one, I entered in the prompt, I want a portrait image of an office worker in a marketing agency looking at a screen. So that's what we've got. Then I download it. The next step is we wanna go over to a hosting platform that our image can be available in the cloud that the automation can, can grab when it needs to. So. To do that, I'm using ImageBB. I'm going to leave all the links for these couple of tools and the automation itself in the description so you don't have to write all this down. But you just drag the image over into this platform and you'll get a link. So we just copy this link and then we can add it to a spreadsheet that our automation will access. So I've just got this Google Sheet set up here. You can see it's only really got a couple of columns. The first column is going to tell our automation whether it should generate a video for that particular row of data. The second one is the image URL. So I've just copied that from image BB. So I can add this in now. And if we click on it, we can see it. So that's all good. The next is the video prompt. So this is very similar to the one we just saw. I've just modified it a bit. So it says a woman angrily says you spent 8K on a YouTube video and then turns towards the camera and says, not happy Jan, and then bananas explode in the background. The next column is blank because this is where our video URL is going to go. And then we have the video title and the video description. And this in the automation will post to the correct places on the platform like YouTube, X or Instagram so that you know the title and the description are shown. So now if we take a look at the automation that's going to generate this video, we can take a, a quick walk through it and just make sure we've got all the bits and pieces set up. So we've just taken a look at the, the spreadsheet. So we have everything we need to get started there. Down here though, we do need a request to key AI, and this is what's going to actually generate the video. So if you take a copy of the template for this automation, all you need to do is enter in your key AI API key in this node. So key AI, it's a really good tool to, to use to generate vertical and landscape videos. I'm not going to run through it except it's super low cost and very high quality and there's a whole bunch of models you can use but the one we're going to be using is obviously VO, VO3. To get your API key just click on API key, copy it back in N8N, enter it in here. I won't open it up because then I'll have to hide the API key. It's a real pain. So anyway just trust me on that. The next node here is a weight. The next one here all this is doing is checking to see if the video has been generated. If it's been completed and it gets a success, we head down here and we update the row in the sheet. So when the video generates, the, the file will be generated back here. And then we move on to where a bit of the extra magic happens here in this automation. 
rather than just uploading it manually into YouTube or your social media platform, we use a product called Blotato. Now, Blotato, if you've not heard of it, it does a whole stack of things, but really I'm only interested in one thing. And that is, it is super powerful when it comes to using N8N and posting to up to nine social media platforms. So you can see down the bottom here, I'm connected to three accounts, YouTube, Instagram, and X. And now that they're connected over in the automation, there are native nodes for Blotato now available in N8N. We just hook it up. And when we press the button on this to run, it's going to auto post to all of them simultaneously. Now, if you decide to use this automation, I will leave a copy of it in the school community. It's 100% free. It'll be the first link in the description. When you come in here, just head to the community, click on videos, and you will find it there. N8N templates are in JSON format. So if you download it from the community, go into N8N, just click on the three dots and import from file, and it'll just open up looking like this. The only thing you have to do is add your credentials. All right, so the last thing left to do on this is actually to generate the video and auto publish to our platforms. One of the really cool things about using N8N like this and Blotato is if you want to deactivate one of your social platforms for whatever reason, you can just deactivate or reactivate whatever you want to do. For this one, I'm actually going to deactivate YouTube and I'll leave X and Instagram on. I'll run it and I'll show you the video when they post. So with a bit of luck, if I hit execute workflow, it'll run until it stops at the wait node. It's going to circle around a bit. I'll fast forward that and then we can see it go through the rest of the process and check out the video. So let's go. All right, so we're down on the wait node. I will fast forward this a little bit and then we'll get to the blotato part. That has just successfully run. We should be able to take a look at the videos now. Now I just did refresh Twitter here or X. We can take a look at the video. You spent 8K on a YouTube video. Not happy Jan. Okay, so it successfully posted over into X. It is exactly what we're after. And if I put this onto YouTube, it's probably gonna get thousands of views. So that is how easy it is. We can also take a look at Instagram. I'll refresh this. Hopefully we get one extra video. Here it is. You spent 8K on a YouTube video. Not happy Jan. Okay, so that's that one. If you've got any questions about how to generate these videos, or if you run into any issues using the automation, just let me know. And I look forward to catching you in the next one.